Hi, John and Teresa, we're here with you once again, and um, we look at our day, and we know, and it's, it's you know, you know it, it's a no-brainer, uncertain times. It seems like mm-hmm. every week there's something different, something's changing, and, and things seem so faulty and chaotic and iffy. But mm-hmm. once again, we have a sure foundation We have a God who is awesome in deeds and power. He has all might and ability. Psalm 66 says he even performs miracles for his people. He watches the nations and nothing goes unnoticed, even those that would be in rebellion. And what I'm saying, what I take from that is our God sees, our God knows, and he's still in control. And he's going to take care of his people. If we'll keep our eyes upon him. And I like the part that says he's going to show up and still be mighty. He wasn't mighty and awesome 2,000 years ago, and now he stopped being mighty and awesome. We talk about things being awesome. And we said, man, that was an awesome game. Or that's awesome pizza. I'm laughing because that wasn't an awesome game. Not last night. No, it wasn't. Not with the Eagles and Cowboys, unless you're a Cowboys fan. Ryan thinks it was awesome. Yeah, he thought it was awesome. But we use words like that. For things that aren't so awesome, yeah. our God is awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we need to remember that as yeah. his people. Mm-hmm. He's for us, not against us, Amen. and we're going to keep going with our awesome God. There's mm-hmm. something really, I don't think it's an understatement, awesome this Sunday. There's people that are going to be baptized in water. It's one of the best days ever. That's it. Yes. We're going to be here Wait. at Quakertown, Pittsburgh, celebrating mm-hmm. new life in Jesus Christ, celebrating mm-hmm. that people are born again, loving Jesus, They have a brand new life, and they're going to live for Christ. Now they're going public with their faith. That's exciting. Amen. If you haven't made that decision yet and you want to make the decision, you can still do it. Amen. Go onto the forum and fill it out. You might not have something up on the screen about you. It might be be more last minute, but we'll give you the mic. You can share your story. You can still get your T-shirt. You can still give your testimony. Amen. It's about just taking that step of faith in front of the church family, yeah. declaring your faith. It's not ritual. It's, it's not formality. Not. It's, it's life-changing. Yeah. What God is doing in your heart, you're going to walk that mm-hmm. out into the waters of baptism, mm-hmm. and we're going to believe, and we know with you, that God has mm-hmm. a new life for you. I always go back to the book of Acts where he says, what forbids me from getting baptized when he sees some water? That's right. Not one thing. The Ethiopian said, hey. I believe, yeah. and I want to live for Christ. I want the life he has for me. Yeah. So that's exciting. And then we have, at the end of the month of October, uh, Light Up the Night Trunk or Treat, and we're going to bless our communities again. Amen. Just participate in that. We'd love for everyone to participate. And I would really encourage people that are our age, maybe that your children are grown, that you would really step out and participate. So some of our younger families who have kids that want to go around and get the candy, they'll be able to do that if some of us that are a little bit older take that place because behind yeah, our trunks and, right. and take it. So really, if you mm-hmm. if you don't have kids that you have to take care of, this is a great moment for you yep. to step up. Yep. So we're excited. We're believing. Uh, at the first of the month, we start the month with three days of fasting and prayer, whatever that looks like for you. You could do one meal, mm-hmm. two meals, whatever the Lord lays on your heart. But let's agree together. Uh, once again, we're going to seek mm-hmm. the Lord. We want to be in his presence. We need his anointing. We can't change any lives. Only Jesus Christ can. He can. He's the one that changes he lives. Yes. And so we want to hear from the Lord. We want to follow the Lord. God bless you. We do love you, don't we, Teresa? Yeah. Yeah. We love you. And we're looking forward to this Sunday being with you in God's house.